Hello and welcome to another set of readings from Lotus Love Tarot 555. Thank you guys so much for joining us. All right, so we will be doing your new moon. Listen, many readings. I got to be very, very clear with that. This is not a full reading, you guys. This is just to give you an idea of where you need to set your intentions for this new moon in Sagittarius that's coming in. We all really need to work with the Sagittarian energy. This is a very fiery um, energy, a very motivating energy, Sagittarius energy can be. And so we want to make sure that we uh, that we ride with this. Um, it, Sagittarius also can be very temperamental at times, okay? So just make sure that as the intensity of our temperament is increasing, the closer we get to this new moon, make sure we're using those energies appropriately, okay? Um, this will be happening November 26th today at 10.05, I believe it is, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, this is going to be a beautiful, beautiful time to go ahead and set your intentions and things that you want to manifest, especially setting seeds now that are going to be manifesting over the next six months. For those of you that leave your comments, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I read them all and it really touches my heart. Uh, for those that may be new to the channel, welcome and thank you for joining us. Now, if you like, go ahead and fast forward through the rest of this because I'm just going to do a brief intro about what's going to happen during this uh, many, many reading. Okay, remember that the energies can flip-flop, so if it doesn't relate to you, it could relate to your partner. You can apply this reading to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign. And I always say hello to our cross watchers out there. Um, if you don't know how to set your intentions for the new moon, go to our new moon playlist and I promise you it is there. Okay, a lot of times I say, I don't see it. It is there. So we have a little uh, video just giving you instructions on how to set your intentions. Okay, you guys? All right, well, listen, I'm excited. Uh, this is the, the last... I believe it is this type of event that is happening for 2019. So we are ready um, to ride with this energy. This is going to be a beautiful energy. And I'll go ahead and plant those seeds so manif manifestation can occur. I think I've covered. Oh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit the like button so every time we release a reading, you will be notified. And follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Now, that is all for the introduction. On to your reading. Hello, my cancers. Okay, let's get right into your reading. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages do you put forth for the sign of cancer as you begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on November 26, 2019? What messages do you put forth for the sign of cancer? What do our cancers need to know as they begin to set their intentions? Okay. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of cancer as they begin to set their intentions on a new moon occurring on November 26th. All right. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of cancer as they begin to set their intentions on a new moon occurring on November 26th. Oh my goodness. Okay, this one fell by itself. And then these fell. Wow. Cancers. What is going on? That's a lot of messages there. All right. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of cancer. As they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on November 26, 2019. What messages need to go forth for the sign of cancer? What messages need to go forth? All right, let's see what's going on. Oh, this is like a full reading here. It's supposed to be a mini reading. Retreat. Okay, it's time to disconnect from the world. And I can see why, because you got a lot going on here, Cancer. So you need to get away. Okay, and Spirit is saying, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from the usual type and expectation. Some of you may be stressed because someone may be fond of you right now that does not match what you're used to 
receiving in a love life. For example, they could be much older, they could be much younger, they could be of another race. Um, they may not may not have the educational level that you want them to have, may not have the kind of job that you want them to have, may not drive the kind of car that you want them to have. It could be the total opposite. And so don't ever don't ever get blinded by those type of um, uh, characteristics that don't really even matter, okay? Because uh, love doesn't have a look. Love doesn't, it, it doesn't, okay? Love is a feeling, but it doesn't look a certain way. And I think that's where a lot of us get messed up because we begin to look for this specific stereotype that we always want. And when we don't get it or when we think we got it, that it doesn't turn out to be the kind of relationship we want because you went after a look as opposed to a feeling. All right? Ready, set, go. Now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire. So that's what we're talking about. Dive into the unknown, but keep an open mind. Keep an open mind. You know, when you go away, when you retreat, okay, some of you could be having an actual trip going away. You know, you could be traveling for the holidays. Or it may be a time that you just need to mentally get away where you just... You know, just decide to just stay home and just really clear your mind out and get your life organized. Write about your thoughts and feelings. See, sp the Spirit has given you specific instructions on what you need to be doing. You need to write this down. So let's see what these are about because all of these fell together. Forgive yourself because you've done nothing wrong. So as you're writing about your feelings, it's, it looks like Spirit is giving you specific instructions on areas you need to hone in on. This is your life purpose. So whatever you're doing right now, understand this is what you're supposed to be doing, but it might be some areas that you may need to tweak. It might be some areas that you may need to look at. The person you're asking about is trustworthy. Okay, so I'm, I'm still feeling like it's about this person right here that you, you're feeling like is, they don't match what you're used to receiving. Okay? But they're trustworthy. Spirit is saying you're on the right path. Okay? But you need to have confidence. And I always say this when we get this car, spend time outdoors. That's spirit saying when you retreat, that's what this is saying. This is like the, uh, the uh, this is like spirit's office. I always say this. You know, when you go outdoors, it's like spirit is saying, come, I need to talk to you. So when spirit is telling you to retreat, these are two cards now. Two separate desks telling you to get away. Okay? Telling you to get away for a minute. Clear your mind out. Remain positive. Okay? And whatever you were trying to do, Spirit saying, it's not the right time right now. So that could resonate several different ways. Whatever move that you were planning on making, I'm saying, I'm feeling like Spirit is saying, don't move on that right now. Let me talk to you first. Let me talk to you first. Let me clear your mind out first and give you an understanding. Okay? All right, my loves, if you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to that can be found below. Until next time. Bye-bye.